Project Zomboid used to be very bare bones. The game was first made playable in 2011 and since then IndieStone has continuously added many features into the game. They've added all new graphics, fun and challenging combat and even tanks to blow up entire cities. So despite all these new added features, why does Project Zomboid still feel bland? When you first start playing Project Zomboid, you are filled with the wonderful and exciting feeling called the fear of the unknown. You are thrown into a challenging and uh, fun world. Here you will quickly feel anxious and scared when you find out you are just an ordinary survivor who is one bite away from figuring out how they died. As you learn the required survival mechanics, you continuously receive a shot of dopamine which pushes you to want to learn even more. The player learns from their mistakes and the morbid curiosity of the player is now at its peak and so is their enjoyment. Can't sex the zombies trash game. Very good but can't sex the when sex update. Criminally lacking in sex mods. I truly don't get this fascination. You explore the boundaries of the game chugging bleach, putting cooking pots in microwaves and eating unidentified mushrooms. Don't do that you idiot. Ultimately you're filled with wonder about how an indie game like Project Zomboid, which was relatively unheard of before the year 2021, can have the zombie survival genre so well figured out. Until this sense of wonder starts to fade. At the mid stage of the game you learn less as you kinda know what you're doing at this point. So you look towards the future and try to think of the ways your character and all of humanity can live and thrive in this broken world. Exactly as seen in that show that also has zombies in it. Now you get to grind up your skills, find a safe spot to build in and create a strong base to protect the living from the dead. Oh and you get to experience cars. It's not a glitch guys, it's a feature. Player enjoyment is again going up at this stage as new challenges are thrown at the player. There is the freezing cold, incapability of being able to farm and overall food scarcity creeping in. Until you level up the free food generator known as foraging. Like this is so OP man. Winter will force the player to explore beyond your normal scavenging area as supplies dwindle. However, something is different this time around. The game is starting to get stale. Although the mid game provides some more challenges, the core gameplay remains the same to the player and the captivating magic of the game is starting to wear off. In this stage the craving for finding out what's next increases as the amount of progression decreases. The sense of wonder and utter fear of the unknown is now fading rapidly and so is our enjoyment. The world constantly reminds you of life in the world when you hear screams, gunshots and animals but these are all there to mask the fact that you are completely alone in this world. This threat hits the player in the end game whom is now left wondering what the point of it all was if there's no payoff in the end. There's no survivors to rescue and shelter in your base and the lack of zombie migration makes for a lack of challenge. There will never be that oh shit there's a massive horde coming moment like portrayed in pretty much every zombie movie or series out there. We do have the occasional zombie destroying our walls for absolutely no reason though. In the end all your efforts are left unrewarded and most players decide to quit at this point, perhaps forever. So how do we fix this? Firstly, the time the player can spend progressing has to be extended. After the mid stage of the game there's simply no reason to continue playing. Indie Stone's next big update will focus on adding a massive crafting overhaul but I think it's the wrong time to be adding this. The crafting expansion would currently only serve the purpose of stalling the player instead of adding a newly found purpose. I for one don't sit in my safe and self sustaining base and go like oh I would love to be smelting ore right now. The crafting expansion will also give the option to completely isolate the player from the world allowing the player to completely skip the scavenging phase which is the most dangerous and thrilling part of the game you can literally avoid all danger by being in the middle of nowhere sipping on some lattes as you play the forest simulator at this point you can probably see the trend behind these updates let's watch some crazy stuff yo the new updates make the game easier without adding something to balance it out and give a reason to utilize them so instead i would push the crafting expansion back and focus on re-adding the survivor npcs this will open the gates for more fun features that gives the player an incentive to continue progressing. We can have bandits giving us a volatile challenge, NPC quests to give unique rewards and reasons to explore, and add NPC factions which would give a really big reason to want to build a big safe house for our newly found friends. All the while while giving us new mechanics, new playstyles to keep the game fresh and giving the players an incentive to want to progress. Combine this with various exciting events that can steer the world up and you got a very fun bag of features to keep the player hooked. And I am not talking about the damn helicopter event. Shortly after the NPC update I would focus on making the zombies less predictable by making them more volatile. They need to be able to form hordes and make certain towns and areas swarm to make the world feel more dynamic and alive. This will ultimately keep the player on edge and keep the game from feeling dead. No pun intended there. 
After all this, I will throw in the planned crafting expansion. Not only does the crafting expansion give real meaning to your settlements in the form of self-sustainability now, but it also doesn't make you do all the grinding yourself, and then lose all the knowledge due to a simple mistake. Ultimately, the progression is fleshed out and looks something like this. You have the early stage where you learn the ropes, you die a lot, and you just get good at the base mechanics. If you have this down, you go to the mid phase of the game where you learn advanced skills, find a safe spot and you try to fry for the long term. I guess this is also the part where the winter comes in. Ultimately we reach the end game where usually people start quitting. Now the player can focus outward by grouping up, staking bigger pieces of land and just rebuilding society. Which involves fighting wars with other factions and not getting overrun by hordes of zombies. I should do all the grinding and colony simulation things besides that. Now if this is combined with newly added events to keep the world challenging and volatile and alive, then man you got a fun bag of features. Now ultimately there is a clear path you can follow to allow progression all the way through while still allowing the player to jump between the phases at any moment. As it's a sandbox after all you can play however you want. A player can decide to forever stick to phase 1 for example and become some kind of nomadic bandit. I picked up the playstyle from Kenji. Now all these features will change up the game a lot and many of you might completely disagree with some of the mentioned suggestions. But that is perfectly alright. Ultimately we can agree that Project Zombie truly is an amazing game with a dedicated developer team behind it. In the end there is no right or wrong way to play the game for the game is different for every person that plays it. Things that I deem good might not be something another person wants. Yet we can all enjoy this game together for Project Zomboid isn't a simple sandbox game with zombies. Project Zomboid is what you want it to be. With the great modern community and changeable sandbox settings it is up to us the community to make the most of it. So the only last question is, what do you want it to be? And what will you make of Project Zomboid?